Stock photography, is it worth it? So far in 2021, in the first four months, January through April, I've averaged $174 a month for the first four months of 2021. That's pretty good. I have about almost 1,000 pictures on Adobe stock and about 650 pictures on Shutterstock. Now, I, I have had some folks ask the question, can you uh, uh, submit one picture uh, to the same uh, places? Yes, you can. That can be done. There's no rule against that. And I'm mainly talking pictures, not video, although I do have some videos on both sites. And what is the best thing or subjects to shoot for stock, for submitting to stock agencies? I think it's the thing you're most familiar with, the things you do the most, the things that you think are really fun. I play a lot of pickleball about four to five times a week. And so I'll take a lot of pickleball pictures of my friends and I'll ask them, hey, do you mind signing this uh, release? I can submit this to a stock agency. And they've always said, yeah. I photograph a lot of golf events, about, about 24 golf events a year. I'll shoot a lot of pictures where uh, you can't see faces. Now, occasionally I'll get a really nice picture. Uh, like a couple times last year, I shot a picture of a guy actually taking his shoes off, hitting out of a creek. And I showed him the picture and I said, hey, would you mind uh, if I submit this to a stock agency? Of course. I had him do a model release right there on the site and I was good to go. My number, my best selling golf picture is a guy uh, trying to fish his ball out of a pond. He was actually sprawled out, sprawled out on the, on the ground with his, with his club trying to uh, fish out a ball out of the water. And he, as, as well, signed, signed a model release for me. Uh, I shoot uh, high school football about 10 games a year. Shoot some basketball. You know, when I shoot the football, I just get close-ups of, of, of things like Lyman's legs or, or uh, the football yard markers where you can't see anybody's face, that sort of thing. Caesar, Caesar Creek Dam in the distance there. This is a great place to go hiking if you want to, you know, hike some small trails. They have one big trail that's like 12.7 miles. You know, if you do a lot of hiking, you know, take a lot of hiking pictures. If you do camping, I also ride a motorcycle, you know, take some motorcycle riding pictures. Whatever you do, that's the best thing to shoot. Model releases are not a big deal to deal with. I have the app right on my phone. I can have a model release done, 10 minutes tops. And then once I have them, the, the model sign it, I sign it, and you have a witness sign it. And then right there on the spot, I email it to my email address. It comes in a PDF file. And then I bring that into Photoshop, turn it into a JPEG, and then just I send the JPEG off to Adobe Stock or, or Shutterstock. It's that easy. When you get on a model release, you have to get the person's, basically their, their basic info. You have to get their, their name, their address, their cell phone number, email address, um, their es ethnicity, and you also have to get their date of birth. Now, it's gonna be a goal of mine in the next year or so to get my Adobe images. I said, I have almost a thousand of them. I think the exact number is 980 something. Okay, I just came from that way. That, that comes down to a point at the water. We're at spot D. Spot D on the map is right here. Where we're at, uh, and if I were to go that way, it brings me right down there. I just came from there. So anyway, you can always do a search 
on Adobe or Shutterstock, whatever agency you decide to submit to. Like, uh, I think it was today I did a search on my phone acting like I was gonna buy a pickleball picture. And the very first picture that came up was one of mine. And I probably had, I wanna say, eight pictures on the first page. And the second page, almost probably of that whole second page, around 50% of that whole page were my pictures. So that's how I knew that I, I, I was kind of on the right track. How much you get for a particular picture depends on the buyer's um, plan that they have. They can, they can have no plan at all and you'll get a lot more money. Uh, I did a video on this probably a year ago. Um, they, the, some plans are where they get three images a month. Another plan I think is 10 images a month. And one plan is, I wanna say like 500 images a month. So in that case, you, don't, you only get like 33 cents. Um, also, if, if they're gonna use it in a big old ad, in some capacity, you get uh, quite a bit more money as well. Don't be discouraged. The way I got into this, I, two years ago, I was down and uh, visiting the in-laws down in Murfreesboro, Tennessee. You know, I don't know, we were there five, six days. You know, I brought my laptop, brought a couple external hard drives, you know. You know, I didn't have a whole lot to do there. So I just, you know, went through a lot of my files and. Ooh, I'm gonna to submit to a stock agency. And that's how I got started. But make sure that you, uh, if you take somebody's picture and you do submit it, make sure you um, give those folks a picture or two. If it's a good one, they will really appreciate it. So, So I'm done talking. Thanks for watching. The next video that I do, I'm going to do uh, like go in search of stock photography. Take my camera, microphone, and uh, shoot some stock uh, files and uh, do a video of it. If this has helped you, hit the like button. And if you like what you see, please subscribe. Thanks for watching.